Hey, what's up everyone? Monado Max here. And today we have a direct predictions video. Now I might be jumping the gun on this. I realized that we kind of jumped the gun with the June direct, which we got one, but not in the one that we thought we were going to get. But I honestly believe we're getting a direct in September. Uh, I believe Nintendo's had some sort of direct every year uh, in September. So whether that's a third party showcase again or something like that, I, I strongly feel we're going to get a direct because of one of my predictions that we're going to be talking about later. But I have some special guests. Now I'm going to be introducing them. Let's start. We've actually, I don't think we've had him on the channel in a very long time. We have Tenology. What's up? How's it going? We have Jay Matthew. It's me again. And then we have Atachi. Hello, hello, everyone. I believe, Atachi, you have been in every single direct predictions video where I have a special guest on. So get yourself a badge for that, man. That's an honor. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I'm starting off. I have some some fire, straight fire predictions. I, I, I'm going going wild on this, although I, I think this is a pretty safe prediction considering how the game somehow managed to get leaked screenshots two months ago. And it seems like everybody forgot about it because I don't see anybody talking about this anymore. But the new Fire Emblem game, it's going to be announced here. It's going to be released early next year. I'm calling it now. And uh, I think we're going to get a good detailed portion of the Direct talking about this game what it is considering how much of the game's already been leaked it sounds like the game is almost done um just from all these development leaks the i, I don't i know there was gameplay screenshots but i don't know if there was ever gameplay leaked but there was leaked screenshots of the game it was very real and uh, i think honestly i think the direct could open up with this or close with this ty thoughts I also have a new Fire Emblem game on my list yep. um, because I didn't see the screenshots, but uh, I know Three Houses came out in 2019. I know it. I think it did better than anyone was expecting. I think it has a, a big, uh, a lot of momentum right now, and I think it's the timing's perfect for, you know, four years later to have a new Fire Emblem game. On that note, I've never played a Fire Emblem game, so maybe uh, this is an opportunity for me to try. I heard great things about Three Houses, though. Anyways. J. Matthew, thoughts? All right, so one year ago, at uh, the last Direct in September, we got a very shocking reveal about the Mario movie and its cast, <laughs> <laughs> featuring Chris Pratt and Jack Black. And it's coming out in spring of next year, it got delayed. So I'm hoping for a trailer. I'm hoping for a big trailer revealing the voice, the animation, uh, if Mario's gonna be a minion, oh lord! Uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I want to well, see all. Of that. I want to see everything. That'd be you big, know that'd be that big. movie's gonna open up with uh, a minion in a Mario suit, saying yeah, yeah. "Illumination." <laughs> it's gonna hit a, a, a question mark block, and it's gonna. He's gonna say banana. He's gonna, he's gonna say banana. The happen. Illumination logo. Yeah. Like that's gonna happen. That is going to happen. Uh, I I think you're on to something, considering the fact. Uh, the movie was supposed to come out December this year. I think it got delayed to either March or April. April 3rd, I think. April 3rd. Okay, I, I think we are due for a trailer soon. So, you know, rather, if not a trailer, I think they're definitely going to make mention of the movie. So, I think that's a good prediction. I would definitely like to hear Chris Pratt's voice as Mario. Because I honestly don't think he's going to pull it off. Every Chris Pratt project I've seen... He keeps the same voice. Itachi, it's up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, with uh, you starting off with a bang, I will start off with what I think is going to end the presentation. Ooh, and okay. it's not it's not Breath of the Wild 2, as some people might think. Uh, I think we're going to get the their holiday game, which is going to be Metroid Prime Remake. You know what? I so, forgot about yep, that. Yep. I think that's going to be coming. I think it's going to be a November release. Uh, lines up with the anniversary, and it's been leaked. 
and I think that I don't think they can get away again with saying Metroid Prime 4 is still going well because they have to address it, right? I think uh, I think we'll get a short cinematic. I don't think it's going to be gameplay. I don't think it's going to be in-engine, but I think we are going to get a Metroid, Metroid Prime 4 cinematic. Okay, yeah. I, I think yeah. that's fair, uh, especially considering uh, we got Metroid Dread. It's been a, almost a year since that game's come out would be nice to hear some more news on the metroid series and i would definitely like to see the metroid prime series i i particularly would rather see the all three of the metroid prime games on the switch rather than the remake that's been heavily rumored so i'm um, apparently the game's already done it's yeah that's, fitting. that's what i'm hearing too i'm i'm hoping because the original leak behind the game was that it was actually an HD trilogy collection coming Yeah. Out, and then that became a remake. I, I'm really, really, really hoping the remake... L listen, Metroid Prime's cool. I, I just think it would be phenomenal if you could have all three Metroid Prime games on the Switch when you got the fourth one coming out whenever it comes out. I think it would be very cool to have a system with all Metroid Prime games on one system. I agree. So, I have uh, a little bit of an interesting prediction so i think i actually predicted this in june i'm not totally sure if i said this or not it was definitely on my list uh obviously we had a brand new free game on consoles right now that everybody is playing a very smash bros like game Ooh. what is that game you may be asking multiverses now that game is on every single platform Except the Nintendo Switch. And you cannot tell me that a Smash Bros. clone could be on every platform but the Switch. This game has been already requested to come to the Switch. Warner Brothers has a very good track record of putting their games on the Nintendo Switch. A lot of their published titles ended up on the Switch. And I, I honestly believe that this game is in development for the Switch. Uh, I think it's one of those games that they're trying to make a really good port of uh, good frame rate, no frame rate drops, because obviously uh, the game runs really well on all platforms, and I think that's something that they are really trying to do with the Switch, and that's why it's taking it longer to come out. So I think that we could see this game being announced uh, with a early release date of next year. And uh, you know what? Uh, this just got leaked. Apparently, Warner Brothers trademarked Big Chungus for video game usage. <laughs> Maybe they'll reveal Big Chungus with the Nintendo Switch port of Multiverse. That'd be funny. That is my prediction. That'd be funny. I, I am so ready for Big Chungus. Playable Big Chungus. Oh my gosh. All right. On the cover. On <laughs> Ty, you're up. But my, my next prediction is. Uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and then to the nice. Switch Online. Uh, I think they're gonna. I think that's gonna hit uh, soon. It's, uh, the, the space is already there in the code. For no, Game no. With that, would would they separate them, like Game Boy with a regular online and Advance with expansion, or would they keep them both to the expansion Ooh, pack? I bet they would do regular Game Boy, regular and Advance in the expansion pack. Okay, okay, okay. I think that would hear me out. Switch. They announced the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack Plus, eighty dollars a year. Oh, <laughs> you get... God, eighty bucks, eighty bucks better, a year. Better include the GameCube if that's the okay. case. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I do want to know. I have that on my list, but do you guys think that they would be able to convince the Pokemon Company to get you know Pokemon Fire Red, Red, you know I the, the so. mainline Pokemon Nothing games? Not. I, I think so. Because we, we saw with the N64, they were able to get some of them Pokemon Stadium. I think Pokemon Snap got on there, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, surprisingly, Game Freak is putting their projects on there, which a lot of people thought that wasn't going to happen. But I thought it was going to be a struggle. Sure. Yeah. I think that's a good prediction. Jay Matthew, you're up. I think finally, after like four to five months of waiting... We're finally going to see Advanced Wars drop on the Switch. Mm -hmm. It's about time. The game is ready. I'm ready to not buy it. I mean, uh, play the game. Um, I think they just want to get it out of their hands and 
put it out there finally. I think they will. I have it wrote down that they might bring it up because I think that yeah. game is actually going to come out next year. Uh, just due to the fact that uh, with potential like you know Metro Prime remake coming out this year, mm -hmm. the Nintendo Switch lineup for this year is already packed. I think Nintendo has no confidence in Advance Wars as it is already, so I think they would feel more comfortable releasing that into early next year. Tachi, you're up. All right, so I'm gonna move third party for for one prediction. It's uh, it's one that we have never heard about. It's a brand new new port of it. It's the only system that it's not available on. It is from a series that has every other entry on the Switch, so I'm surprised. Oh, I'm kind of surprised it didn't come, but it, it's a weird one. I think Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach might get announced, and I don't have oh, any. Yeah. I don't have any like good reason for it except it's FNAF, it's popular, they're releasing DLC for it next year, maybe the Switch port comes with the DLC already in, and every other FNAF game is already on the Switch. Okay, well I got a, another third party prediction, uh, it's kinda similar to what Itachi just said. This is a game series that is not represented on, well actually. The, the mainline games are not representative, but there's other games from it that's on the Switch. Uh, obviously, uh, the series is also very well known. It has what people call it was one of the games of the series as one of the best video games of all time in the 2010s era. And we have it on every platform but the Switch, and I would think it's easy for this game to come on the Switch considering it was on the 360, and actually, fun fact, it was on the Wii U, or at least one of them was. I have the Batman Arkham Collection. Oh, nice. Uh, I know this game is kind of random, but uh, Warner Brothers usually puts out a lot of projects on the Switch. So, I think Warner Brothers wants to continue that support on the Switch, considering that a lot of their projects are already on the Switch, and they, they continue to put out big games on the Switch. I would consider them honestly one of the best third-party developers uh, right now in terms of... Well, I know a lot of their games are published titles, but they're still putting it out on the Switch. It seems to be in their focus, uh, their interest, I mean. I, I think the Batman games need to be on the Switch. It's one of those games that... I feel like now the Switch has a lot of the third-party games that people want on the Switch... I think there's a few missing. Uh, like I know people talk about GTA 5. I don't particularly care about that, but I know that's something people really won't. I know people want a Call of Duty game also. I don't know how if they can make that possible. Or maybe they want Red Dead too. Red Dead, yeah, at least the first Red Dead game. Uh, I think the final game out of like other than that stuff is Batman. I do have the supposedly finished Donkey Kong 2D game from. Uh the development team behind Mario Odyssey that supposedly is supposed to be like ready to go that they're just holding for uh, release. I bet it, the, it's crazy that we haven't even heard an announcement, anything about it. Uh, but I think that this would be the direct to talk about it with the movie and Donkey Kong's in the new Mario movie, uh, having a new 2D. I think it's going to be just like Tropical Freeze. I think it's going to probably look very similar. I don't think it's going to be 3D. Uh, given the short development time. But uh, yeah, that's what I think. I think that we'll get a new Donkey Kong entry announced and a release date, everything. So I have Donkey Kong written down, or written down on my list. I don't know anymore. Uh, this game has been talked about for a good year and a half now. Yeah. And I question its existence uh, just because I don't know how many years we have left on the Switch. We have a lot of supposed games still coming out for the Switch. I feel like if this Donkey Kong title still exists, I'm, I feel like it's going to be available for the next Nintendo console rather than the Switch. I, just because, I don't know, I feel like this title would have already been announced already. Uh, granted, well, we've had such a strong year for Nintendo this year, there probably wasn't a good time to release this game. But I... I don't know. I, I, what's what's happening next year? We got Fire Emblem, most likely. We got Breath of the Wild. I think that's going to be a big push. 
Metroid Prime Four maybe next year. I, I don't I don't know if. Well, we know that they're at least supporting it, and I think the earliest they will release a next generation console is twenty twenty four, because uh, Mario Kart DLC goes until the end of next year, and they probably want to have the next Mario Kart out for the next system, like as a launch title. So I think there's going to be a year gap between that. So I'm thinking like 2025, 2026 is uh, when we're getting the next console. I'm 50-50 on it. I'm not totally sure. I mean, Nintendo's own first party games are starting to have technical difficulties. Well, not technical difficulties. But I mean, they're not exactly running the greatest like they used to when the Switch first came out. Uh, I feel like we are closing in on that Switch cycle. And I think we're going to start seeing less and less first party games from Nintendo starting into next year actually um so i i feel like this donkey Kong title definitely exists i just don't think it's for the switch anymore damn all right itachi you're up all right so i'm gonna play devil's advocate with this one uh this one's a bit of a risky prediction because i there's like no basis for it or there's a very very little basis for it so a lot of people or let me ask you this when do you guys think breath of the wild 2 comes out spring spring my okay i if it's not in this direct then it comes out late next year if it's in this direct i feel like it's gonna come out early mid next year i think september 2023 okay all right cool so we got we got a a mix of things mixed things okay so i am in the camp that it might release later in the year unfortunately but there's a Mario movie coming out in April. And we don't know what the Odyssey team has been working on. People say Donkey Kong. Max just mentioned how he's not even sure if that project exists. Maybe they have a few teams working on Donkey Kong and another team working on something else. It would make sense if they market a new 3D Mario game alongside the movie. And I think that's something that they could possibly show off here. And it would be something completely separate from Odyssey. I don't think it'd be Odyssey 2. It'd be a brand new 3D Mario. All right, let's put on the tinfoil hat together, Tachi. I'm going to add on to your theory. Imagine this. Now, I'm not predicting this, but let's just say they go with what you're saying. You know how the Lego company makes adaptions to their movies as, like, Lego games? Yeah. And you know how there's Lego Mario stuff out there? Yeah. Imagine if they make a Lego Mario video game based off the movie. Okay, so... I have Zelda written down, but I, I'm i just going to go crazy with this one. I have a feeling that they're going to make it seem like we're seeing a brand new Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. And I, this is my prediction that they're going to close out the Direct with this. I think they're going to make you think that you're watching Breath of the Wild 2. But the reality is they zoom out on the camera and it's actually a 2D Zelda game. I think we're getting another 2D Zelda game, uh, whether that be like, you know, like the Link Between Worlds or maybe sort of a remake like with the Link's Awakening game that came out a few years ago on the Switch. I think we're getting another one of those before the end of the Switch cycle. And I think I, I think if Zelda comes out at the end of the year next year, I think that you're going to put a 2D Zelda game to come out during the middle of next year. Jay Matthew, you're up. Um, so I think as we see these, uh, N64, uh, expansion pack games roll onto the Switch here and there, and we just got Wave Race and, uh, Pokemon Snap in those, we just got, we got Banjo-Kazooie earlier this year, I think we're gonna see even more, uh, Rareware titles roll to the Switch now that we know that it's possible, which, uh, with Banjo coming on the Switch, I think we might see Conquer, Conquer would be amazing, uh, Perfect Dark would be great as well. Uh, even Banjo Tooie would be great. So I think uh, now that we have Banjo, I think Microsoft might be open to even adding more to the Switch's uh, 64 library. Yeah. So I am gonna keep going on that Zelda train, following up with you guys. And there is no Zelda game that we know of yet this year. This is also one that has been rumored for a very long time since the Switch had come out. It would make for an excellent buffer buffer type game. 
it doesn't need a lot of marketing. They could do the same thing that they did with 3D All-Stars where it's limited time or it comes out in like three weeks. And that is Wind Waker plus Twilight Princess HD dual pack, which they could sell separately, but I choose to believe that it's going to be both in the pack and it'll be limited edition. And it serves as a buffer for uh, Breath of the Wild 2. Nintendo's the type of company to be like, listen, we're going to announce Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD. They're going to be sold separately, and they're going to be coming out two separate times, and you can only get them for two weeks. Buy it now. $60 <laughs> each. It's 60 bucks a pop, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what I have on my list, I think... I know the Directs last year, what they were doing is they always had the Direct be heavily focused on one game with announcements from first party third party that type of stuff uh i i know that they did that i believe in every direct of last year i think they're going to continue that cycle for this one i know the direct in february did not have a have a, like a, a main game that they were going to spend like five or ten minutes on uh, i think this direct will and i think that's actually going to be on bay another three Obviously, Bayonetta 3 comes out yeah. at the end of October, I believe, right? Uh, and we've gotten a trailer, but we've still, in my opinion, not gotten enough information on the game. And maybe that's what they want to do. But there's definitely not been enough promotion on the game. So I yeah. believe that this Direct's going to be heavily focused on Bayonetta 3. Ty, you're up. So, Max, what, going off of what you were saying, um, like, there was no direct this summer other than the third party. And I think that there was supposed to, that was supposed to be a full direct. And they pulled a bunch of the first party stuff and just made a third party. And so we're going to, I think we're going to get a big one that is going to be basically what was going to be all first party from the summer direct and what would be a full direct for the fall. And so I think we're going to get a lot. I think it's going to be a, a bigger direct than um, ones in the past. I think there's just, I think it's going to be full of a lot of different things that, uh, like lots of volume. Uh, that said, I think we'll get an announcement about the Wave 3 Mario Kart uh, DLC. Three. So I have Mario Kart 8 written down here. I have just a hunch. I think that uh, in this upcoming Direct, I think they are going to talk about Wave 3, but I also think they're going to give us a little bit information on the next few waves. Uh, I don't think they'll give release dates. I, I think they're going to just tease some information of what's going to come into those waves. And I think... Uh, I, I know that before when Mario Kart 8 had DLC on the Wii U, I believe they announced everything all at once. I don't think they're going to do that here. I just think that they're going to announce like what's coming in Wave 4, like a tease of it, and maybe tease Wave 5. That's what I have written down. Here. Hmm. Shay Matthew, you're up. Yeah, going off all of this DLC, I'm happy you brought DLC, because going off all this DLC talk, we have Strikers, Xenoblade, all of that. But there's one that was announced a while back that no one remembers because no one cares about it. But, but listen, Switch Sports Golf has got to be on the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because they did say Switch Sports Golf is coming in autumn 2022. They said it. They mm -hmm. said autumn 2022. So, yeah. I'm ready for some golf. You guys ready for some, some golf? Better than Mario Golf Super Rush? Because that was a dumpster fire. Uh, hold up. We have, like, a big supporter of that game in this call. I love Mario Golf. Atachi. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to keep piggybacking off of the DLC with you guys. Uh, I just want to I want to start off with it by saying that I don't think we're gonna get uh, Mario Kart. I think they've established how they want to announce it. I think since we just got uh, Wave Two announced at the end of July, I think September's too soon, especially with how long they they had us wait. Uh, I I don't think we're gonna get it at, until November, and it's gonna be a Twitter drop. The DLC I do think we are getting is another one you guys haven't mentioned and probably aren't thinking about it, and I'm, I'm kind of glad you guys didn't mention it because <laughs> I really love this game and I wanted to say it, and I think uh, if it doesn't get it this time, it's not going to get it at all. 
and uh, it's Mario Party Superstars. I think it needs uh, DLC from Mario Party 1, 2, and 3. I think they're going to lay it out. It's going to be part of the expansion pack. and uh, Or free if you have the expansion pack, and I think they're going to give you one, one board from each game. Tachi, yeah. that prediction is joining the bin of Fallout 4 coming on the Switch and <laughs> Hollow Knight yeah. coming out so finally. Cool. All right, Ty, you're up. I so I think we I think the sh- the the direct closes out with Breath of the Wild 2 new trailer. I think we get a name. I think we get a date, and I think it's gonna be later than we all are happy about. Um. Whatever the the reason why they're holding the name, I don't know. I know they said that it's some revelation that it will give away too much. And probably so something we, with his arm. What? Probably something with his arm. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um. So, yeah, I don't have a huge prediction about it. I just think that it's gonna come out later. I think we're gonna get a name. I think we're gonna get a new trailer, and I think that people are gonna be hyped. Right. It's sad that it's late, late, later. I'm going with still with what I said that they're going to act like it's Breath of the Wild, and then boom, it's a 2D Zelda game, <laughs> and then everybody on Twitter gets mad. I hope that happens. Jay Matthew, you are up. I'll I'll pass it on to Itachi. I, w- I want to save this one for the end. Oh, okay, all right, okay. I guess you're cool like that. That we just okay. All right, all right, no, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. Itachi, you're up. Okay, alright, so my last one is going to be an indie game that has been in development for a very long time. It is not Silk Song this oh, time. Oh, okay. It is not, <laughs> it is not Silk Song this time. Uh, uh, I would have said it if it wasn't at the Xbox Showcase. Although I wouldn't mind it being here because we don't have a release date. But that's not what I think is going to be here. What I think is going to be here is one that hasn't been shown off since it was announced. It's been put off. It hasn't been in an indie world. I think that now would be a good time. It's a... A pseudo sequel kind of to a, one of like the launch indie titles or, or close to launch indie titles which was golf story and it is sports story i oh, think we, yeah ooh. we have not heard sports story in a very long time people are excited for that game and i think it'd be very interesting to uh have it reappear here with a release date yeah, yeah. they had the full trailer like over a year ago and then yeah nothing since Yep, it, it's actually been, uh, I think it's been two years. Has it been two years? Wow. Let me check, let me check. It has been, the announcement trailer was uh, three years ago. Wow. December 10th, 2019. That's wild. All right, so J. Matthew really wants to be last to say this, so I'm, I'm really <laughs> looking forward to whatever he has to say to this. J. Matthew, you're up, man. Right. Imagine the direct is coming to a close. It's fading. You see the transition. It goes to the head president of Nintendo, Doug Bowser. He goes, there's one more thing. And we see the screen fade to black. And out of the shadows comes the logo. You see a glowing white J. And then a U. And then an S. And then a T. It's just dance 2023. It finally gets announced and it gets a release date. Most hype game for the week. Yeah, for the week. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. I want you all to check out everybody here. I'm gonna let everybody shout themselves out one at a time. Ty, you're up. Yo, I'm Ty. I run Tynology, Tynology Gaming on YouTube. Uh, I'm on a bit of a hiatus on, on YouTube videos, but I'm coming back. I have a bunch of stuff in pre-production. I stream on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Tynology. We do the Tycast podcast most Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, everyone here has been on the Tycast, so uh, it's good to see you guys again, or hear you guys again. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. Uh, thanks for having me, Max. It was a blast. You see, I feel like you tell us this every time you're on the channel that videos are coming, and then... I know, I'm just... way behind. I'm so behind. <laughs> I, I've i been rethinking the whole my whole strategy, and I've been really busy with sponsored content on Instagram and stuff, so I've just... Hey, you make your money, making, man. Make your money. Stuff make... Make, yeah, stuff that's making my money. <laughs> I'm like, that, that gets priority. 
Yeah. Shea Matthew. Yeah, you can find me at Jay Matthew on YouTube. Uh, I stream. I'm actually back to streaming now. I've streamed pretty consistently uh, the past few weeks. I mean, I don't plan to do it uh, on, a, on a schedule, but you know, when something new happens, like Splatoon 3 demo, like I just did, and Kermit Dream to Fail, I'll, I'll, I'm back to streaming. Um, I got videos coming out soon. Uh, one with maybe a few of these guys here uh, soon. Um, and then I got some other stuff in the works, and I run the. Holy Charge crap! Podcast. Sonic Last World just got leaked. What? What? For current consoles. What? All right, sorry. Continue, continue, continue. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I have the the Tipping Stars podcast, which I hope to have all these guys as a guest on there at some point in time. I definitely know we have uh, Max plans soon. Um, and yeah, that's me. Okay, all right, sorry. I, 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 I'm a big Sonic Lost Worlds fan. Okay, sorry. Itachi, you're up. Yeah, uh, you guys can find me uh, at Itachi Cosplays on Twitter. Crap, Instagram. it's fake! No! Okay, sorry, you continue. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You can continue. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you guys can find me at, at, at Itachi Cosplays on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Uh, I stream almost daily on there. I have a podcast on there as well. And I just made a YouTube channel with my best friends called Chow Town. We have our first video up there now. We don't have a set schedule up as I am school and we are very busy. But I have a lot of plans. I have uh, some video essays lined up and some more collabs planned. So make sure to check that out. Guys, please check out his channel. Just because, you know, we've had Itachi on here for so many times. I don't know how many videos you've done with us. I know ever since I've done uh, guest people in terms of, you know, talking about direct predictions when we have guests on, I always have had you on. And I've had people that are not much of interested in watching streamers and they're like, hey, what about that Tachi guy? Does he have a YouTube channel? So please check him out on his channel. He actually has a channel now, so you guys can watch his content rather than the streams now, because I know I know some of you actually messaged me about that. So please check out that channel. Hey. Well, guys, all of us have been talking for way too much. We want to hear from you. Do you think there's a direct? How far-fetched are our predictions? How insane did we go? How wrong are we going to be? I want to know all of that in the comments section below. Now, make sure to check out everything that's in the description. My Twitter, my Twitch, my Instagram. I actually don't post anything on Instagram because I'm not a fan of Instagram. So, it, it, don't expect much on there. And all that good stuff will be in the description below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.